Greetings. Welcome back to Zen Den here in Tampa Heights. I'm Kendrick Henry, and I planted this place out six years ago. One of the very first places in the Moringa Growers Co-op, and they're still pumping out beautiful Moringa greens. They're just now reaching that mature level that we really love seeing. Check this out. All of the trees are producing beautiful drumsticks full of mature seeds. This one is a little bit larger. It's almost pretty much going to turn brown at this point. It's gonna, it's gonna go, uh, go for probably like seeds to go to trees and seeds to go pressing for oil at this size. But if you look at like just a little bit smaller, like this size here, a little bit smaller like this size here, even like this size, those ones would be for like say fresh soup. Um, what happened here is that we went to harvest these trees in, in December, January of, of 2021. That's the last time we were here. But no one was here to pop flowers. Uh, no one was here to pop the tops. And so a lot of the trees actually stopped growing at the point in which the flowers became pollinated. The flowers got pollinated, the tree stopped growing any further than it, than it would, would have, and it started to produce these drumsticks. So in a system where it's left alone after harvesting, you might not get as much greens and growth. But that's why in the previous video that we shared earlier this morning, we went ahead and popped flowers off. We popped tops off just two weeks after harvesting because then you get a lot more branches and a lot more set versus something like this that we cut back and it barely came back at all because shortly after coming back, the, drum, the, the flowers got pollinated and started producing drumsticks. And then all the energy went into producing drumsticks and did not go into growing any more greens. <clears throat> I mean, but this is still very beautiful. I mean, this is still a very highly productive, nothing is wrong with you for not producing greens. But we also know that if we want greens, we cannot let the flowers go to seed. If we want the drumsticks, then this is ideal. And guess what? We do want drumsticks. Some locations, we love harvesting the drumsticks and just having them for drumsticks. And some locations and trees, we love just having for greens. In this case, we'd love to see all of these trees go to seed like this, let them go through a full cycle. So this is about 20 or 30 trees in a row, straight row along the fence. And uh, we're gonna start harvesting these trees. We're gonna start cutting them back. And we'll have the fresh drumsticks available that will be good for sambar and good for fresh soups. We'll have those ones available on our Facebook Marketplace, Numa Nursery Facebook Marketplace. I'd love to continue walking around and show you the place. It's a beautiful, beautiful sanctuary. This is a nonprofit uh, resort, uh, educational facility, yoga, yoga space, and um, it's called Zenden. And so we built these pergolas for lighting so we could have a fence outside and also just this little bridge area because we wanted to have like a little sunken area for water to settle on the property. And we're just getting to the back corner here and we've got lots of passion fruits. We've got a Bodhi tree, we've got a huge bambusa that I planted. Tons of really, really great, interesting things like curry tree. We've got Surinam cherry, loquat, all within a five foot radius of each other. Star fruit tree, bananas. I mean, this is just a super productive zone right here. Then we kind of go out a little bit into another zone of the property in the back. Got some more Moringa trees back here. They get super big back here. Exotic plants like pomegranates in our Mediterranean zone. We've got the olives in the Mediterranean zone back here. Some Cuban oregano and another star fruit. Crazy story about these star fruits. These were the very first star fruit seeds that I ever planted from the very first star fruit that I've ever ate and these are the trees from those uh, seeds that I planted here on this property uh, six years ago now. Beautiful pergola that, that, that um, Greaves Construction helped us build out here in the back. This has been a beautiful space for us. We did a hammock and fire pit. 
tons more exotic things like, um, you know, this stuff that we wear. Yeah, some cotton, some cassava and beauty berries and katuk. And this is actually the very first moringa tree that I was ever gifted in a pot seven years ago. I held on to it for like two years, got it in that location right there. And she's very well taken care of at the Moringa Growers Co-op location. You could actually get a residential Moringa Growers certificate now available at moringagrowerscoop.org. So you can join in the fun and also get some help and maintenance on your Moringa trees like we do at all the other residential locations around town. Tons of, tons of crazy things like cactus, bougainvilleas, sweet almonds. We've got fire bushes. This is actually the original orange tree on the property and we've gotten it back to life. Um, I built this bamboo wall <laughs> like six years ago just from random bamboo that we found on the side of the road. And it's been holding up pretty well. She gets it, um, you know, lathered with some, some preservative every year so that way it stays. Um, some Tulsi, holy basil that we harvested actually from seeds in Cambodia when we were there. Um, oh, look at this, finally producing some some pineapples, some more loquats. Oh, wow, what a beautiful space. We've got some papayas up here. Look at that, papayas in the front yard. This is the front yard right now. So we're in urban Tampa Heights, in the almost pretty much in the middle of the city in this urban, urban jungle right here that we built. Um, really love, love the space. Um, we've got some Barbados cherries. We've got a free library that you can grab. Some books in exchange hanging right next to the drumsticks. So you can grab, so you can get some soup. And we see the neighbors coming by all the time and grabbing drumsticks out here. We have some in the back for us and some in the front for the neighbors. Oh, look at this little, little sanctuary here in the front. We've got this little banana circle that we built. I dug a huge hole, like a huge pit here when we first got here. This was a huge pit that I lifted this whole area up, up and around by just digging a huge pit. And then we've been just filling this pit with mulch and compost for years. And it's just been uh, developing into a really great little, little zone there. Look at this beautiful dragon flower. Wow. I bet it opens up in the middle of the night. Oh my gosh. So awesome. I grabbed this uh, fig tree actually in... Uh, South Carolina when I was visiting my family like five six years ago got a cutting from it brought it here and now that thing is thriving ah love it so really loved giving you a quick little tour of the place we're gonna go ahead and get to work get these greens on the racks to dry we're gonna get the drumsticks available at our Facebook marketplace I'm wondering if we should go ahead and just put them at the Moringa Growers Co-op Facebook marketplace since really that's what we're trying to do here with everyone that has product that's coming from a co-op location we wanted to come out on the co-op channels and that's what i've really been focused on here the last couple months this year is focusing on getting the cooperative established that's why we just launched the the, the grower certificate the residential grower certificate and the commercial grower certificate so please check those out at moringagrowerscoop.org and uh so many beautiful things back here. I'm just in awe and amazement at the beautiful space. Mwah. Peace, love, prosperous growing. Ciao till next time. Uh, go ahead and like this video. Please share it and check us out at moringagrowerscoop.org or uh, follow us on Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, and uh, see you soon. Peace, enjoy. At Zenden, Tampa Heights, signing off. Ciao.